Now do people show up? Nope. I thought this was a history class. So far, nothing but giant lizards. Yeah, but they take you places. Well, the big space rock wiped out most of early life on Earth. But it wasn't all bad news. Unless you are a dinosaur. Texas oil, which becomes everything from pavement for roads, gasoline for cars, to plastic and toys, is the goo left over from all those ocean plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. Texas coal was once trees and other plants that died and slowly and over huge spans of time turned into lumps of stuff that will burn. Just like burning wood, but a lot older. You may have heard of the Permian Basin in West Texas, near Midland and Odessa. It gets its name from the time about 300 million years ago and gets its oil from all those sea creatures that lived, died, and sank to the bottom where sand, silt, and rock buried them and over a very, very long time changed them. Oil, natural gas, and coal are all what we call fossil fuels. So it turns out that what happened millions and millions of years ago on the same but different planet still affects us today. The Earth remained a wreck for tens of millions of years, but it wasn't entirely dead yet. The weather was crazy. There were volcanoes that unleashed massive lava flows. Even so, there were still some creatures alive, and over time, they made a comeback. But it was a slow process. By about two and a half million years ago, there were lots of large land animals that roamed the Earth, including Texas. Creatures you might recognize, like bears and elephants and wolves and tigers and horses and camels and deer. There were also massive glaciers. Nearly one third of the planet was under ice. The world was also very different back then. We call this period the Pleistocene era. But what about people? Well, they were around, but human beings that look and act like you and me didn't show up in Texas until about 20,000 years ago. So, newcomers, when compared to dinosaurs and all those big Pleistocene animals. If this is prehistoric, how do we know anything about those days, about those earlier versions of Earth? Through the work of people called geologists, they're the rock studiers, paleontologists, literally studiers of old stuff before people, and anthropologists, studiers of stuff after humans show up. Think of them as the stones and bones crowd. History will have to wait. Wait, what? My school bus runs on dinosaur goo? Kinda. Gross. What about people? They are coming.